I'm Casey Martin. Welcome back to a new shop episode. I know I've been away from uh, the YouTube channel for a while. I've been very, very busy with my MBA program and just trying to maintain normal pen blank orders and things of that nature. But I wanted to show you all what I've been up to. It's long overdue, so let's get right into it. So by the time of this shop episode, this review video should either be up or it will shortly be up. But TCP Global, the maker of uh, a couple of my pressure pots, sent this out to me to review. It's their resin casting model. There's no hole in the middle. And uh, I'm currently doing my first test, actually, of seeing it hold pressure, which it has been doing. So that is pretty cool. Definitely check that video out. Another thing that I wanted to show, of course, uh, the oil that I put on these for photos and everything has dried out, but I've really been dialing in um, for custom orders, uh, specifically all of, all of these, but just in general, the multi-dye process, getting some crazy cool colors with all of these uh, different ones. I mean, as I said, the oil is dried out and it's not even that shiny, but you can still see the beautiful colors in some of these. And uh, so that's been fun. Been working on, on those. This is going to be sent to a guy in Indonesia, which is pretty cool. So I've been working on quite a few new blocks for a customer. I have a ton in the pressure pot right now that I haven't taken out, but let me show you some of these ones in the sunlight. So another thing that's been pretty fun experimenting with is Turn Texas, or should I say Curtis Seebeck's new Midnight Black dye for cactus juice. This one I just briefly tested. I on, only ran this. This was Maple Burl um, under vacuum for about, I don't know, an hour or two and then let it soak for a handful of hours and the color penetration was phenomenal. So... I know if I let this run for hours and let it sit overnight or a day, it would be much, much better, but really, really cool stuff and really happy to have a dye actually meant for this color now. And especially when I do something like this, where I don't let it penetrate all the way, some of these spots would be really cool to come back and double dye with like a more bright, vivid color, like a red or a pink or, or something like that too. Pretty cool stuff. All right, everyone, so that's about it for this shop episode. I really appreciate you all tuning in. I wanted to just mention a little life update, how I mentioned at the beginning of this, I've been extremely busy with school. Uh, I'm in a master's program that most of you who have been following along probably know, but essentially I'm in a one-year accelerated MBA program, so the workload has been way more demanding than any of the school I've ever had while running this uh, business and YouTube channel and all of that. So I just wanted to let you all know that the lack of videos has nothing to do with a lack of desire. I, of course, want to be making these videos for you all and will continue to try my best to do that. So I 
will definitely try and I hope I can, but I just wanna let you all know a little context of why there may be gaps in between and so on and so forth. But thank you all so much for watching and the continued support. And I really look forward to hearing from you all in the comment section, hearing how everyone's doing. And I look forward to making another one as soon as I can. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.